the picture on the dresser I knew you weren't ready when I met you You say you gon' leave, but I won't sweat you My mind been made up Plenty times I swear I could've gave up Plenty times inside I'm hurt, but play tough Every time you give Yeah What's going? Y'all say hey Say hey to me What's <laughs> up? Talibu. Okay, y'all not really saying but I'm sorry vlog, they're not fucking with y'all right now. Damn, well shit, I am me. <laughs> um Today is gonna be our last day filming y'all. Um, well, filming for the trip at least. Trip is not going as planned. Like, I'm actually booking my flight right now. So, and I was only here for a day. So trip is ending short, but before I go back home, I definitely gotta end it with a bang. So I'm gonna go to brunch real quick. I'll show y'all a little bit of content there. <laughs> Okay, y'all, 
so I had to get some stuff off my chest. Um, it's just a lot. <laughs> I just need a vent. Like, your girl just been going through it. Um, person that I was supposed to go with ended up telling me that she couldn't go anymore. So I obviously still want to go. You know what? It's my birthday. I can't just not go, right? Well, at least that's how I felt. So I ended up going. My flight was at 7 a.m., y'all. I get to the airport. I'm going through TSA. Something told me. Let me look at my purse real quick. Look at my purse, y'all. I had no identification. What? <laughs> How can this happen right now? I'm already, I'm already at the airport. I'm going to board my flight. Like, so I get up there. I was like, can I still board my flight without an ID? He was like, well, do you have like, basically I needed like two cars. I needed something that had like my name on it. Like two things that just had my name on it. So I gave him two uh, two uh, debit cards, like a credit card and debit card. I gave that to him. It was still like a long process. Like they had to like go through my whole suitcase. Like I mean, actually like go through my whole suitcase, y'all. Like they they got this little white thing. They swiping my shoes, and I packed a lot of shoes that day too. So they pack they swiping through every shoe. They went through my clothes. Um, I brought my laptop and stuff. So they swiping that too. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> At this point, I'm thinking like. Should I even go? But freak it. I still go, y'all. So, first of all, let me tell y'all. I got two signs. Before I even end up in Miami, God sent me two signs, y'all. You finna go alone and you don't have your ID. I should have been obedient with the first one, but I didn't listen and boom. God showed me a second one. Didn't listen to that one too. So, okay, I get to Miami. I'm like, <laughs> what's your plan, Jessica? Luckily, someone was in Miami that I knew from like here. So I ended up linking up with him and I thought they were supposed to stay till Tuesday, right? Well, it was two different trips. Like he knew he was supposed to go and I knew I was supposed to go. We were just going to link up. Like all of us were going to link up when we got there, right? So I ended up like messaging him. I'm like, hey, well, he knew that Friday night, like, look, I'm coming along, like da da da. So I ended up um, landing in Miami. Went to, went to his place first because I landed early y'all like I got off work three o'clock had to start getting ready like finish packing unknown caller had to finish packing and then boarded my flight like it was a long night stressful and long so ended up at ended up at his place um and then we was just chilling and stuff I'm already like in like a little bad little mood because it's just like nothing's going right right now <laughs> So we end up like just hanging out that day. We uh, went to South Beach. And then the day before the day ended, he told me he was like, um, we leave tomorrow. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> sign number three, y'all. Sign number three that they leave tomorrow. So I'm thinking like, I'm in Miami. Like, I don't know nobody here really. Like, I don't have an ID and I, that I'm a girl. Like, it's not safe. <laughs> it's definitely not safe. So. I'm thinking about like, okay, like, should I go home too? Like, I'm calling my parents. I'm crying on my birthday trip, y'all. It was a lot. Be the the reason I'm not bashing nobody out neither. Like, this has nothing to do with like. This is me, right? Like, this. It just goes to show, like, Jessica, like, slow down. Like, I feel like the reason why it just hurts so much is because like I went through a breakup. So I've been single for four months now. You know, went through my little healing process. And then this happened, so I'm just like, you know, like when you already like went through something and you think you over it, and then something else like happened to you as well, and it's like, well, dang, like I'm hurting again, you know, like it just never stops. So that's how I just felt. I was just like, I just can't catch a break, honestly. I can't catch a break, and that that is like my birthday trip. Like you know, I'm, like I feel alone. Like I don't want to feel alone. Like this is time. Like you know, I want to feel special. I take birthdays seriously, so it's like, if any of my friends had a birthday, like, like y'all, we up, we outside. So, I just felt, I just felt really alone on my birthday trip, y'all, like, and it wasn't even me, like, being in Miami alone that I couldn't have fun. It's just, y'all, like, I didn't have an ID, so I couldn't do nothing. And then on top of that, it's like, I planned it for me, you know, like, to be with somebody, and... If I would have planned a solo trip, like, because I'm all down for solo trips. Like, I, I was actually talking about that with my parents. Like, I actually want to do a solo trip, like, by myself. But I didn't think it was going to happen this fast. Like, I would have just, I was not prepared for it. I was not prepared. <laughs> so, uh, so Sunday come, no, Saturday night, 
so I asked my parents if I should go home and they was just like yeah like just just go home like we already told you not to go on the trip anyways <laughs> listen to y'all parents okay like parents know what's best y'all they really do mom dad if y'all watching this thank y'all for telling me to go home <laughs> so I ended up uh Saturday night looking at flights bought a whole nother flight y'all just to come back to Atlanta so I was only in Miami for a day and it's not like the money was the problem but it's like y'all know like when y'all just I just had like high hopes and it's just like everything went from right here to boop <laughs> down and now and it wasn't no like slowly going down when it went down it full speeded down like like I got hit by a train with all these just poof, poof, things just hitting at me person that was also leaving Sunday was like hey like we're going to this brunch you want to come so I was like okay yeah I'll, I'll go so I packed all my stuff well the next morning Sunday I packed all my stuff you know got ready got cute and this and that went to where they was at we went to the brunch it was really nice like thank god I had him there because he definitely well y'all definitely made it made it a lot better than what than what it would have been if I was like alone so we end up uh, having brunch, you know, popped up bottle. Cause it was Sag season, y'all still had to be happy. Like, even though I was not happy at all. And I'm still like trying to be happy right now. Like it's 15th, like, you know, my birthday is tomorrow. Like I should be, I should be in the greatest spirit right now, but I do not feel, well, I'm getting better now. But at first y'all, like when I tell y'all, when I came back to Atlanta, I mean, I was just in a bed. My roommate was just TA some my friends y'all be seeing on here like, Constantly come to my room like you okay like you okay like come on so do something y'all I just I was out of it I was literally out of it because I was just like what is like what is this what is God trying to teach me right like <laughs> so the more I think about it it was just like Jessica like this next season you finna go into which is my 26 like everybody can't go with you and that really hurts me because it's like i'm a people's person like i'm a lover to like whether that's relationships or friendship like y'all i love to love like uh like i don't know it's just something about loving <laughs> and it's not even that i expect something from someone it's just like it's just the way my heart is like i love being a happy spirit and another thing that like i also feel like god was teaching me was sometimes you just got to be quiet like I do, like, whenever something bothers me, like, I like to tell the person, okay, look, like, this is what happened. You know, this is what hurt my feelings. But for some reason, I ain't been feeling like doing that. Like, I've been, I've been just letting it happen. I go through it. And then I become a bigger person after that. Because it's like, not everything deserves a reaction. It really don't. And then it's like, you may give them the wrong reaction. Like, you don't want to mess your step up even more by trying to like go to them so soon so i just wanted to like get this video out there before my birthday only because like i'm finna turn i'm finna turn 26 like i'm finna go into this rebirth birth rebirth whatever you want to call it new season and it's like i'm finna be i'm finna be better than than how i was a lot better and i can and i can feel it like it sucked that I had to be in my bed for this long to realize, like, Jessica, like, you just need a time to, you know, like, just get your, get your mind right, get your body right, get your feelings right. I can't fake nothing at all. So, it, it definitely shows, it shows on my face. And that's why I didn't want to record. I was supposed to be doing Vlogmas all the way till my birthday, y'all, which is tomorrow. But I couldn't be in front of a camera and just fake smiling. Like, I'm not, I wasn't happy. I was not happy. And thank God, like, for the friends that are there, like, Crystal, Tiesa, like, y'all my role dolls. Mom, dad, you know, my family, like, y'all my support system. So, I'm definitely in a better headspace now. I feel like I can definitely enjoy my birthday. And plus, y'all, like, this is another sign. So, mind you, it's been raining. Just been looking ugly. Anyways, so today which is wednesday the 15th like it's all sunny it's bright like and at first i was scared because like, i was looking on the uh weather and it was supposed to be raining all week and i was just like oh no like this is gonna make things even worse for me but i woke up this morning i actually woke up early it's 11 28 now but i woke up like nine something i was just like you know like when you can't tell the sun gonna be out yet i couldn't really tell i just checked the weather and i was like okay it's gonna come out and now it's 11 28 y'all like no cloud well, it's a little cloud in the sky but sun just fully out and I'm just thinking like, okay, 
now it's time to be happy, right? Like, I think, I feel like this is God telling me, Jessica, like, now you, you ready to just put your feelings aside, move forward, and just enjoy, like, the next season that she's gonna walk into. So, yes, y'all, I just want to come on here, tell you a little story about the Miami trip. Uh, trip didn't go as planned, but it's okay. Like, everything happens for a reason. It sucks that it had to happen before my birthday, but hey, it needed to happen, right? That's what I keep telling myself. It just needed to happen. I'm so ready to see everyone tonight. I'm having an amazing time. My birthday dinner tonight, I'm bringing it in at my job. It's going to be a party. Like, we partying all weekend, too. Also, my friend Tiesa, her birthday is also next Wednesday. She's a Sagittarius, too. Sagittarius gang. So, yeah, we both going up this weekend. Um... And y'all, at the end of the day, like, I'm just thankful. Like, it's going to be, like, another year around the sun. Wow, that's crazy because it's sunny outside. See how God works, y'all. I... Ah! Okay, I'm going to end the video, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, all that. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye, y'all.